Today Alex and I are travelling from his hometown back to mine and we thought we would stop at a couple places en route. A few of you have been asking us about castles in England so we thought today would be a nice opportunity to drive around and find you some castles. People have spoken. Not a people's <laughs> vote about Brexit, but instead <laughs> you guys have said you wanted castles, so we are going to give you some delicious castles. We've done our research and about one hour from my house is the small little place of Nunny. This tiny little village that I've never heard of feels like no tourists have ever stepped foot here, but <laughs> it is very charming and you can't see, but just behind there, there is a very old castle. The more I travel England, I actually now want to recommend to anyone coming here is rent a car, look at a map, and just choose maybe even the funniest sounding village name. We have a lot of crazy sounding names. Well, this just choose anywhere. Nunny. Nunny. Just choose anywhere. You will probably be greeted with a quintessential little English village with a lovely little river running through it. Guys, we just saw an otter! A bloody otter! That has made my day. If we see nothing else good today, I am happy. Every time we go somewhere with a river, we always are looking out for otters, knowing that we probably won't see them because they're very seen elusive. One. Never seen one Never in England. Never ever seen one in England before. And we just saw one just swimming along the bank. It was only tiny, about that long. Dark brown one. Wow! I've seen my fair share of English nature in my time, but an otter! I can't believe I've seen an otter! <laughs> we should be excited about the castle, but since we've seen this otter, all we can do is look for otters. <laughs> I guess actually right behind me is the castle of mine and your dreams, but we are focused on the river below <laughs> us. spotting with the beams! <laughs> This is Nunny Castle, which is a medieval castle from the 14th century, and it even has a moat. I say that quite excitably, because unlike Disney would have you believe, most castles that you find around the UK don't actually have moats, so it's quite a treat to finally see one. Come on in guys, let's have a little look inside. <laughs> Whoa! I don't understand in England how we get access to stuff like this. Now, one, this is free, so amazing, I can't believe something like this is free. But also just, there's no security, there's no one around, there's no cameras. We're very trusting. This is from the 14th century, how can I freely just walk around and do this? <laughs> so, actually my point is proven. Why are we allowed access to this amazing place? Look at all these people that have been scribbling the names! Oh, yeah. Looks like something out of a horror movie, you know, where someone's like trapped in a cell for 30 oh. years and they scribble all over the walls. I'm getting to the point now where I don't actually think I should recommend anything for you because everything is good. <laughs> everything. <laughs> we are very lucky in England. We're spoilt for choice when it comes to historical sites, aren't we? I can't imagine in the 14th century if you were living in somewhere like this. And like, look at this view. Look at the view I've got right <laughs> now. But the time is short and we have more castles to see. This is not your only castle today. There's one more. <laughs> The castle that we wanted to show you was unfortunately closed. It seems to be a common occurrence here in England during the low season that things are only open on the weekend. Actually, 
I say fair enough because having seen that last castle and seeing all the scribbles I say close it down it's probably really hard for them to find staff to man these places you know every day of the week so it's, only, it's fair enough that they're only open at the weekends no gripes from the beans about no. that no however yes we have a gripe now so we thought we're going to this castle it's closed is there another one nearby that we could go to instead of course there is we've got castles coming out of our bums here in England we do so we went to the nearest <laughs> castle which was overlooking Bath and we thought wow that sounds pretty epic the castle that Google had taken us to was called Sham Castle now this place is rubbish <laughs> it's an actual rubbish. sham it said online that it was a 17th century castle overlooking the city of Bath and Okay, it kind of is that, but it's just like the front of a castle and it looks quite new. It doesn't look like it was built in the 17th century. I would say that it's worthwhile coming up here to see the view over Bath and there are some nice walks around the top here next to the golf course. However, really the castle's just kind of a bonus at the top of the hill. It's not really something you specifically want to come and see because it's I not just that think interesting. You should, we, no, we're just going to say no. Don't come here. <laughs> you don't watch the travel beans to go and go to see some average places. No, <laughs> this is off the list. Mm, the view is really nice though of Bath, I have to admit. Now we're going to head back to my hometown because we have a five day stint of full on teaching to try and earn a bit of cash for our next trip. We can't support these videos by just <laughs> raking in the YouTube money there's nothing to rake <laughs> so we have five days of teaching and then we're going to be exploring a little bit around the southeast before some bigger trips there are some castles near my hometown so hopefully we'll be able to show you some of those too so if there's anything you guys would like to see from the southeast of England while we are there next week let us know in the comments and if you like the video give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you <laughs> if you haven't got this far and haven't pressed subscribe have you have you <laughs> Um, and hit the notification bell, of course. For the first and hopefully the last time I will ever do this in a golf club car park. Thanks so much for watching and beads out!